Five, six, seven for the Scarlet Knights here in the bottom of the second. Richie Sheikoff for due up first. Maryland transfer has been arguably one of the most efficient hitters for the Scarlet Knights so far this year. Hitting just 263, not leading for the team, but not a bad number either. He's also come through with in a lot of big spots here in that five hole. Candelario's first pitch is hit into left field. Ranging back is Shuba near the track, and he looks up, and it's out of here. A home run for Richie Sheikoff on the first pitch, and the Scarlet Knights go up one to nothing. Opposite field shot for Sheikoff for there, his second of the season, and he really stayed back on that pitch and sent it the other way. Wind kind of blowing to the left here at Bainton Field today. And mentioned it before the broadcast, the fence is coming in here this year, and that ball had just enough to get out of here. Now, wind definitely took it over there as it goes from right to left out towards that left field fence. And here's Sam Owens. He sees the first pitch high and outside. The Scarlet Knights have now taken the first lead, scored first in eight straight games. And check this one out here. I mean, it's Wednesday, but. Some oppo taco from Sheikoffer. And it just got out of there. Scarlet Knights up now in the bottom of the second. 1-0 to Owens is high, 2-0. And and one thing was definitely certain in the top of the first, and that's Rutgers isn't used to seeing the velocity that Ken Hilario is throwing at. It's a little slower than maybe that some of the Washington State pitchers had, so they were up in front of it. 3-0 now on Owens. She, Sheikoffer waited back on that one. He got all of it. He was all the way back on that and was able to send it out to left field. It's the fourth home run allowed for Candelario this season. And a quick four-pitch walk to Owens. Puts a guy on first for the Scarlet Knights and Kevin Welsh. Yeah, Jake, you mentioned the Scarlet Knights being out in front of stuff in the first inning. Although only four batters went to the plate, those guys talk in the dugout. They give what they saw up there, and the velocity of the Washington State pitchers, the Miami pitchers the weekend before, definitely a twist here with Candelaria on the mound. In steps Kevin Welsh. Second baseman sees outside. Five straight balls now from Candelario. Owens leading off first. Walsh in the game, in the season rather, 222 hitter. But a very steady bat. Someone who's very dependable. He's been starting since his freshman year. That one's in the dirt, 2 0. Oh, now six straight balls from Candelario. Wonder if someone will go out and give him a talk soon if this continues. He's missing by several inches here. Yeah, they're not very close. 2-0 count to Welsh here is low ball three. Another one low and outside. That one was a lot closer than the ones we've seen, though. That looked like it just missed. So after a four-pitch walk to Owens in the at-bat before, he's now behind 3-0. and That's a called strike, though. Give him that one. I wouldn't be surprised to see Welsh take strike two if it's there. I'd let him swung away. Heck, I'd have even given him the green light on the 3-0 pitch. It's a midweek game. Obviously, Rutgers definitely has the talent advantage in this one. 3-1 is hit. Second base side turning towards second for one. That's all they're going to get. They get the lead runner for the first out of the inning. Welsh goes to first. Yeah, Veet not even throwing to first on that one. Welsh is one of the better runners on this Rutgers team. He gets down the line very quick. Able to put the ball in play there. Now one out, Welsh on first. Again, Scarlet Knights with a lot of guys who can run well in this lineup. Wouldn't be surprised to see him test Kerner again. Kerner got the best of the Scarlet Knights in the first inning. Throughout the leadoff hitter, and Cerruto swinging first pitch into right center field to base hit. Splits the outfielders. Welsh rounding second. He's headed for home. 
Throw goes into second. Now the throw will not get to the plate as Welch comes all the way around from first on the RBI double from Peter Cerruto. Scarlet Nets go up 2 nothing. Great piece of hitting there by Cerruto, the sophomore catcher. Again, Jake, staying back and going to the opposite field. That's a second Rutgers hitter we've seen in this inning do just that. And that one nearly rolls all the way to the wall. Rutgers with an early 2-0 lead. Great piece of hitting from Cerruto, who's really stepped up here in his sophomore campaign. Obviously saw a lot of action his freshman year, but he's taken that next step up with a year of college ball under his belt. Josh Rodriguez swinging first pitch, lost the ball into center field. Calling him off is Del Colo. He'll make the catch right fielder coming into center field for the second out. Rodriguez lofted and won in the center field there. Aggressive early in the count, swinging when Candelaria hasn't really been accurate early in the inning. First pitch home run to Sheikoffer and then stretches six, seven straight balls actually to Owens and Welsh and Ceruto and Rodriguez first pitch swinging. So the lineup card flips over now. Dan DiGiorgio in for his second at bat of the game. He had a nice, hard-fought 10-pitch walk to start the bottom of the first for the Scarlet Knights, but he got caught stealing, testing that arm of Kerner. Got a 1-0 now to DiGiorgio's up and outside, 2-0. and Ceruto off second to the RBI double. Scarlet Knights bats coming alive here in the bottom of the second. Home run from Sheikoffer, RBI double from Ceruto. Now a 2-0 pitch to DiGiorgio. He's hit into center field. Coming in is Connor, and he can't get to it. It bounces in front of him, and Ceruto's going to score. Hustling into second is DiGiorgio, and he's in there with an RBI. 